Welcome. You're watching the Thrift Store Rundown, where we bring Hollywood home on a budget. Ladies, yes, it is fun to lust over the Brad Pitts and the George Clooney's of the world. But at the end of the day, sometimes that just makes you feel more like a blend-in than a standout from the crowd in regards to your celebrity crushes. I, for one, have my fair share of celeb crushes, all female. But I think it's time we gender swap a little bit and flip the switch and introduce you to the wonderful world of geeky dreamboats. This is a celebration of Hollywood's nerdliest. Authored by Sarah O'Brien and Lacey Sarslow, purchased for $1.69 out of a retail price of $12.95. And I find it fitting that it comes to us from Quirk Publishing because it really is quirky to read, but colorful and adorable nonetheless, and surprisingly meticulously crafted. Hence the geek book nuggets that you'll find in here. Random statistics on each of the geek cakes featured in here. A good amount of them. Bus place, bus date, and from there, it really just gets random with every geek boat, one after another. I'm going to highlight all of the black geek boats in here, starting with most deaf. So these are your geek boat nuggets. Birthday, horoscope sign, hometown, and random statistics. Most deaf, standing for most definitely. Nicknames, pretty flacco, and the mighty most deaf. Eating habits, vegetarian, early beginning, started rapping when he was just nine years old. And fun fact, most deaf adopted a British accent for his role in <clears throat> The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Every geek book has a little paragraph from the authors explaining why both of them have a huge crust on these geek books, why we love him. They also have a geek book meter. Now, they can range from the seriously geeky to the seriously charming as indicated by the uh, sunglasses here, transparent, and opaque. You can't see through them, black sunglasses. More of a geeky hairstyle, more of a handsome hot throb hairstyle. And that hot here on the scale, well, if they go in the medium range, well, then the geek boats would strike that perfect balance of geekiness and, <sighs> yes, sexiness. And the ones that really strike that perfect balance get a little kiss mark at the top left corner of each of their photos. And a few of them have earned that kiss mark. Moving on to SNL's Keenan Thompson, who is definitely one of the geekiest in this entire collection. He plays Star Jones better than she plays herself. Ladies always appreciate a good sense of humor, and hey, when you're one of the castmates on SNL, the longest running cast rate in the history of Saturday Night Live. Well, that just comes naturally. And bargain bolo lot, I have a special commemorative issue from People Magazine celebrating 45 years of Saturday Night Live. Yes, I already own the commemorative issue marking 40 years, but we have an additional 5 years of SNL. So, uh, you'll be looking for that soon. And from here, we really do get a bit more random. Former President Barack Obama. Definitely a little geeky, but the smile and his incurable, patriotic American optimism, which is all encapsulated by the old American creed, simple, poignant, and very effective, yes we can. Yes, you can have a cross on a former president, like Monica Lewinsky. Just don't admit it, or else you could have a problem on your hands. This is Pharrell Williams, uh, less geeky here. Of course, he is uh, the co-writer of the song Happy, which I think catapulted him into geek boat superstardom. Well wooed by his sweet falsetto and again, his incurable optimism. Clap along if you know what happiness is to you. Finally, and this is one of the more objectiveful um, inclusions into this book, Kanye West. I don't care for this guy, period. But the authors do. Why we love him. We've known that Kanye was a sighting star since his first album, when he rhymed. I drink a boost for breakfast and then serve for dessert. Somebody ordered pancakes, I just sipped the zizz up. Who else can boast about drinking dessert and still be sexy? Nobody else, that's who. 
and we know that fashion is Kanye's first love and his true love, quote unquote, but we can dream. Maybe someday he will love us as much as he loves backpacks, Daft Punk, scarves, neon, and French techno. Well then, here's your shot, ladies. Uh, he just divorced Kim Kardashian, so, uh, there is, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I, I don't really care for Kanye West that much, but there is president, so, uh, good luck. Actually, there is precedent in uh, dating a geek boy from Hollywood with a certain amount of charm to him. A woman named Danielle Caesar, who's a big fan of Jake T. Austin, you know, from uh, Wizards of Waverly Place, I believe, and uh, the Fosters. Well, she was a huge Jake T. Austin fan. And guess what? He happened to precipitate those feelings for her, so... Uh, they're dating. I don't know whether they broke up at the time of this video. If they did, well, uh, what a shame. But there is precedent. By the way, we're nearing the end of Asian American Pacific Heritage Month. And we're about to go on Pride Month very soon in just a few days. And while I don't go for guys, I guess you'll consider this as my early introduction to Pride Month. And just as a, well, belated mocking of Asian American Pacific Heritage Month, here are John Cho and Cal Penn on the left and right. Of course, Harold and Kumar. And many buddy comedies. Like Harold and Kumar Cold to White Castle and a very Harold and Kumar 3D Christmas. So who is your favorite geek buddy here? Who do you find to be the geekiest and dreamiest of them all? Um... Anyone that I highlighted in this video, or anyone not highlighted in this video and featured in the book. Like Adam Bodie, Wes Anderson, Mark Ruffalo, Mo Steff, Jason Schwartzman, Will Arnett, Christopher Mitt, Plass, and many more. Well, let me know. From Michael Sarah to John Krasinski, to Stephen Colbert and Andy Samberg, yes, Stephen Colbert is included here. For the record, so is John Stewart and Conan O'Brien. Geeky Dreamboat celebrates the men who make geekiness the ultimate. Aphrodisiac. By the way, two other less objectable inclusions in the book. They're more <clears throat> dreamy than they are geeky. Ryan Gosling and Zach Efron. Two very easy choices. Enough said. I gotta say, fair and square. It's very cute, very colorful, and surprisingly meticulously crafted. So, I don't object to giving it all five claps. And again, I hope you'll tell me in the comments who you think is the geekiest and dreamiest of these geek cakes in here. Because really, at the end of the day, we're making big progress in proving it to be hip to be E equals MC squared. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the thrift side.